today I'm going to teach you about the um, mean, median, mode, which the three of them together are called the measures of central tendencies. And the reason why they're called that is because all three of these are ways to find the middle, that's what central means, the middle of a set of data, a set of numbers. And then we have the range and something called outliers. Okay, so we are going to start with um, a group of numbers. Okay, here's our data. 7, 5, 2, 7, 3, 4, 1. First thing we want to do is find the mean of these numbers. The mean, another name for that, is called the average. And the way we find the average of numbers is we add them all together and then divide by the total number in our data set, which is 7. So I'm going to write that definition down, and you should write it down as well. So the mean is the average of all of the numbers. So first you take the sum of the data. Okay. The sum of the data, uh, let's see, I've got 7 plus 5 is 12, plus 2 is 14, plus 7 is 21, plus 3 is 24, plus 4 is 8, plus 1 is 29. So I've got 29, and then I'm going to divide it by the total number that is in my data. And that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 29 divided by 7. And we take out our handy dandy calculators. 29 divided by 7 is equal to 4.1428. And I'm sure it keeps going on and on and on. We don't need all of that. I'm going to round it to the nearest tenth. So here's the tenth spot. That's four is less than five, so that means that I'm going to round it to four point one. So get back to our definition: the mean, the sum of the data divided by. Okay, so the mean of 7527341 is 4.1. The next is the median. The median is the middle number when the data is ordered from least to greatest. If you need to pause right now, go ahead and do that so you can get that definition down. The median is the middle number when the data is ordered from least to greatest. So I'm going to now order my data. The smallest number I have is 1, and then I've got a 2, and a 3, and a 4, and a 5, and then two sevens. And the number in the middle, all right, I'll cross off one on each side, one on each side, one on each side. The median is four. Next, we have the mode. And the mode is quite simply the number that occurs the most. Which number? happens more than in the other numbers. And uh, as we saw at the end, we had two sevens. So the mode would be 
7. It happens the most. Sometimes there is no mode. Each number just happens one time. There also can be more than one mode. If numbers have the occur at the same amount, say for example, if there was another 3, the mode would be 7 and 3 because there'd be two 7s and two 3s. All right, next up we have the range. And it's not home on the range. It is the difference, difference meaning subtraction, the difference between the largest value and the smallest. So this one's kind of easy too. If you just look at your least and your greatest and you subtract them. So to find the range, 7 minus 1, the range is 6. Okay, that leaves us with something called an outlier. And outliers are numbers that are either really small than the re rest of the data or maybe extremely large. They don't quite fit. Notice how all of these numbers are pretty similar. If I had say the number 35 added to this group of numbers that would be really outside of this range of numbers. It just wouldn't fit. That's what we would call an outlier. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that now. Okay, here we have another set of data. 12, 14, 10, 10, 12, 13. And the question, how does the outlier affect the mean, median, and mode? So first we have to decide, well, which one is the outlier? Which one of these numbers doesn't really belong or go with the rest of them? Your eye should be looking right at that number 3. It's a lot smaller than 12, 14, 10, 10, 12. That's called an outlier. just doesn't go with the rest of them. So how does it affect the mean, the average, the median, the middle number, and the mode, the number that happens the most? Well, to figure that out, we have to do some calculations. We have to first see what is the mean with the outlier. Okay, so let's figure that out. The mean with the outlier. So to find the mean, remember, we have to add 12 plus 14 plus 10 plus 10 plus 12 plus 3. So we've got to add them all up and then divide by the total number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I have 61 divided by 6 and rounded to the nearest tenth gives me 10.2. So the mean with the outlier is 10.2. Now let's take uh, the outlier out. Okay, so this time we're going to go without the outlier. All right, well, we know all together at 61, if we take away the 3, then we would just say 61 minus 3. We would get 58. And now since we've taken away the 3, we don't have 6 numbers. 5. So if we say 58 divided by 5, and we get 11.6. So wow, look at that difference. Without the outlier, the mean goes up. Hmm. And that makes sense when you think about it. That 3 is kind of bringing all these others down. Okay, so let's now take a look at the median, which means we have to line these babies up from least to greatest. So I have a 3, and then I have two 10s, and then two 12s, and a 14. All right, so I'm going to find the median with the outlier. 
cross that one off, cross that one, that one, that one. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I have two in the middle. Well, when you have two in the middle, you need to add them together and find the average of those two. So 10 plus 12 is 22, and we divide that by 2, and we get 11. Okay, so with the outlier, this is the median with the outlier. That's the number in the middle. Now we're going to do that again, but this time we're going to take the outlier out. All right, so I'm going to go with 10, 10, 12, 12, 14. That one goes, that one goes, that one goes, that one goes. There's the number in the middle. So it is 12 with the outlier. All right, so the median, the middle number, actually, I hope this should be without, without outlier. So the median went up. All right, now our last one is for the mode. How do you think this is going to affect the mode? Remember, the mode is the number or numbers that happen the most. And when we line these up, we see that we've got the mode is 10 and 12 because those happen twice. So adding that 3 isn't going to change anything, okay, because the mode is 10 and 12 with the outlier and it's 10 and 12 without the outlier. So there is no change. All right, so that's how we answer that question. Outliers can definitely change the mean and the median. So they can have an effect on the mode, but um, usually it's the mean and the median. If the outlier is a lot smaller than the rest of the data, when we take it out, we find that the, they go up. They tend to bring the mean and the median down when they are lower. I'm going to give you a problem to work on by yourself, but this time the outlier is going to be much higher. How do you think that's going to affect? Okay, so here is the problem that I'd like you to work on. How does the outlier affect the mean, median, and mode of the following data? You can go back and take a look how we did it um, previously in the video, or go ahead and pause right now and work it out when you have all of the answers. Go ahead and hit uh, play again and check your answers. Good luck. All right, go ahead and check your work. Here are the answers. With the outlier, it was 6.3. Without the outlier, 6.6. .6. The outlier, uh, of course, being the 17. The median with the outlier was 5.5. .5. Without, it was 5. I should have just written that down there. It's 5. And it didn't, the mode with the outlier without, there was no mode. Everything just happened one time. So here's our answer. The outlier, 17, made the mean and the median go up. It had no effect on the mode. How'd you do? All right, that's it for this video. Be ready to uh, do some more practice work in class. See you then. Bye.